Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. Previously, I have shared with you on the combinations and the body mechanics of the Wing Chun version 1850. Today, I like to continue on to share with you another very critical component, which is the mobility handling. So, why mobility handling? Well, fighting means one need to move. And mobility handling is to present on how one develop how to move in fighting. So the basic one must know on mobility handling is when to dodge and when to move. So dodge and move are two critical basic of mobility handling which is going to apply in real life fighting. Now, when it comes to mobility problems, Chi Sao and Wooden Dami practice are just partial training. Different ways of hand techniques interpretations are not solving the problem of mobility handling. Structure holding are not solving the mobility problem. Not knowing about the existence of mobility handling, internal jing qi mind power are just add more to disaster. So, what is mobility handling? Now, mobility handling is defined as managing impulse momentum. And note that managing impulse momentum meaning managing the entire body, like here the four biomechanics handles. It is not just footwork. Mobility handling is managing the all the four handles the leg the core the arm it is not just footwork all of this has to be handled in one piece or integrations now so what is dodge dodge mean dodge the body away from an attack so if there's an attack one dodge one's body away what is move? Move means move the body out of range from a chain attack. For example, in, if somebody chasing you with a chain punch, then you might want to move your body out of range because that attack is a chain attack or it is a continuous attack. It probably too much pressure, it uh, probably uh, too fast, it probably come from different angles continuously and you will not be able to see what it is coming at you. So move the body out of range or move the body out of the fighting range. Move also mean move the body into range to play, meaning that when after one move one's body out of range, one can come back or retire. Okay. Now dodge is simply mean that when one somebody throw a punch or a strike, and uh, you be able to handle it there and play there. So these are two different things. Okay. One dodge if one can handle it. If one cannot handle it, move out before you can come back or you decide to leave, run away. So this is the two keys of mobility handling in 1850s Wing Chun. One need when, 
one need to know when to dodge and when to move out the range. To look at it into more details <coughs> on the uh, Wing Chun version 1850s mobility handling, if you have the book The Wing Chun Matrix, this is us with the S here is a self. This is cell, this is opponent. So the first thing, dodge. Dodge means this is opponent, this is our cell. And we have the footwork to dodge and play here when the opponent strike. Move means one is a distance away from the opponent. So in this picture it show that is this distance and one need to shoot in to get into the range. This is move. Okay? So this is our range, one need to move in. Or on another hand, if one cannot play over here. When one not able to play here because the opponent is too strong, <coughs> too powerful, or too fast, or it come at you with a chain, then it is the time to move out. So it is just very clear and simple concept. One practically know when to dodge and continues to play and fight or when to move, to get in or get out. And of course, the directions of get in and get out can be in different directions. <clears throat> so that is dodge and that's move. Now there are more to it. So for example, this is uh, in the uh, Basic Wing Chun Kuen Art and Science book. This is a dodge. This is called step off return, meaning if there's an attack, it step off and come back. Okay, so over here. If there's an attack here from this opponent, one step off and come back. That is dodge the same thing is if one get to one's back the opponent attack to one's back and it move sorry it dodge and it come back okay that's forward turn return entry so that is how the dodge is okay now one need to uh, pay an attention here. There is something called momentum depth. Domen momentum depth is how deep is the uh, opponent is attacking you. In the uh, case of a chain attack, the momentum depth is really deep meaning that the opponent might chase one for, say, four feet. And uh, if one's standing there, it is like uh, uh, getting run from uh, by a car, okay, which is uh, going to run you four feet after hit you. So that is the momentum death, okay? So all of this has to be taken into condi uh, considerations. Uh, when to move, or when to dodge away. Okay, so this is example for dodging. You dodge and then you come back. Okay, and that is very different than over here where you need to really move out the range. Now, Wing Chun is a short strike. Wing Chun 1850 is a short strike. So 
at the dodging positions or playing position, one need to know different position. Whether one is in the position of really close to the opponent or still not as close where his hand is between you and him. Over this one, it's like your shoulder can touch his chest. Over this one, it's like your shoulder is, can touch his arm. And here is, of course, you know, you just, uh, you just uh, face square. So one need to know that, okay? One need to know what position one is so that one be able to handle the dodge properly. Now, in the ancient, in the ancient, that is the, uh, the Z steps, okay, which is the footwork or for the short strike, and the uh, triangle step and the uh, plum flower steps, okay? So that is uh, recorded in the beginning Wing Chun Queen book. So this is the Z step, or Z footwork. This is the uh, triangle, and this is the plum flower. So there is the, the, the plum flower, as you can see that this is like a flower. Now, we need to be careful here. For the uh, triangle step, this is for dodging, dodging and fighting. For the G step, it is also dodging and fighting in different directions. For the plum flower step, they are dodging and fighting. So they are dodging and moving in the plum flower step. This in and out is moving. Playing here, playing here, all the way how to play here, that is dodging. Okay? So when one talk about the plum flower, you know, like uh, in Wing Chun, we, we, we is well known about the plum flower steps. We need to know that consists of moving and consists of dodging. Okay? So uh, it is in the Wing Chun, beginning Wing Chun Kun book. This is moving. And this is dodging, and this is all dodging, dodging. Okay, because it's a it dodge it uh, it, it strike back it dodge it strike back, uh, dodge and uh, go different angle and those kind of thing. This the dodging, and the plum flower have the moving part and the dodging. Okay, so this is the. Uh, 1850s Wing Chun's mobility. Now again, when this is talking about the, uh, it even it said that this is a footwork, actually this circle, this is where your body position is, your body position. Okay, this is not your, 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 uh, your, your front foot or back foot, no, it is your body position which position you want to be in. Like from here, your body start from this position, you go to this position, and then you go to this position. Here, you go to this position, this position, and this position. And for the uh, plum flower is you move in if you want to engage. If you move out, you move out if you cannot handle it and this is how you play you dodge you play there the counter attack there okay so one need to know this uh, to, to, to play the game so remember mobility handling is 
know when to dodge, when to move. And it is not in here. This is even the Chi Sao and Wooden Dummy are partial training. But if we do not clearly know about the dodging and moving, we really can't handle it. It doesn't solve the problem. And so again, it is not just a footwork. It is the entire body, the, 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 the leg, the body, the arm, the footwork all together. That is the mobility. So this is to share with you today. As you can see, Wing Chun version 1850 is very different than the uh, Wing Chun 1960s.